nature does not leave human reproduction to chance. Men have been cursed with a relentless instinct to fornicate, or, put more delicately, spread the seed. Men need to overcome this spell which permanently distracts and emasculates them. This video explores ways single males can control this powerful instinct used by the Illuminati to destabilize them, for example, pornography. Sexual liberation used our sexual desires to dehumanize and enslave us. Kabbalist Jews are hooked on sex, and bo we all are. Satanists believe sex is the highest experience life has to offer. Now society believes it too. When I was a boy, at age 12, I saw the movie, Spartacus, directed by Stanley Kubrick. In one scene, the camera focuses on Kirk Douglas's face as Jean Simmons sheds her gown. His face is full of wonderment and awe, lighted by the mystical glow seeming to emanate from her naked body, but actually from the fire. The scene made a profound impression on me, a boy just entering puberty. Clearly, the sight of the naked female body is religious experience, I thought. We don't appreciate the extent to which we are programmed by the Illuminati Kabbalist Jews who control Hollywood. Most of our ideas about romance, sex and marriage come from the movies. The Illuminati is a sex cult. It programs us to worship the fertile female, bestow her with virtue, and regard intercourse as the highest experience life offers. This is what Satanists want us to believe. Romantic love is our ersatz religion. Sexual intercourse is the holy sacrament. We were taught to be alienated from society and to seek fulfillment in romance. A viewer commented. Frank Zappa said that the vast majority of mental illness comes from love songs in popular music, songs that depict a reality that will never exist for the listener. These songs program you into thinking that you'll be happy forever with someone, thus making you disappointed when it doesn't happen. You can't go anywhere without hearing them. When you're awake, they're just annoying sonic wallpaper, but otherwise, they affect how you think and how you feel, believe it. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. Thank you. By the way, thanks for always supporting me, and thank you for 100k subscribers. I didn't expect that this channel could go this far. Hopefully, it can always provide something positive for you. Uprooted from our true historical and spiritual context, we were told, life is meaningless. Find meaning in sex. Thus sex assumed a hugely disproportionate place in our lives. This is a satanic possession. We were brainwashed to think sexual intercourse was a mystical experience that united us with God. This is based on Kabbalah, the dogma of the Illuminati sex cult. Francis Parker Yaki wrote in 1948. An mania is abroad through our civilization. It is the identification of happiness with sexual love, holding it up as the great value, before which all honor, duty, patriotism, the consecration of life to a higher aim, must give way. This pervasive message has not changed. Sex is the way to God. All human relations are reduced to hot or not. Paradoxically this focus on sex is an impediment. A couple needs to first establish a human connection, not based on sex. In Plato's Republic, Socrates says that in old age, he finally lost his sex drive and felt as if he had been released from the jaws of a wild beast. Nature did not intend for sex to become a lifelong obsession. It is part of the courtship and procreation phase. We are meant to marry young, have children and then focus our energy on more important things. For men, the goal is to control our sex drive rather than to be controlled by it or by women. How do men do this if they cannot find a compatible mate? Obviously, most use pornography to masturbate. Most men would think of nothing else if they didn't relieve the pressure. But, as a sensible teenager said to me recently, if I need to look at pictures, well then I don't really need to do it. His focus is on managing his sex drive, not on dissipation. By masturbating every few days, he can be cool with girls. Men are programmed to think they need a woman's love. We are actually taught that satisfying a woman is a prerequisite to manhood. This inflation of women is debilitating and actually impedes successful relationships. This is because heterosexuality is based on the exchange of female power for male power, expressed as love. Power is the essence of masculinity. It is non-negotiable. For most of my life, I could not make the distinction between a woman's appearance and her character. Personality. Intelligence. The appearance was everything. No wonder they were unapproachable. They were chimeras, not real human beings. As long as a man craves a woman's or anyone's love, he is not a man. 
he can mark his coming of age from the moment he stops seeking female love. Men are under the illusion that a woman will recognize and appreciate their sterling qualities, character, personality, skills etc. Women used to love men. Today they are generally looking for a man to give them what they think they need, a good time, sex, security, status. Instinctively, most want marriage and family, but they have been tricked into squandering their short period of fertility by seeking power instead of love, career instead of marriage. They have been taught to trade on their sex appeal instead of the qualities of wife and mother. Many men have turned to pornography which has made real women redundant to them. The difference between having sex with a self-proclaimed slut and masturbating to porn is negligible. Certainly, the latter is much safer. One acquaintance doesn't masturbate very often. Why stoke the fires, he says. He keeps his mind off sex and focuses on more exciting pursuits. This is called sublimation. The prodigious American writer, Upton Sinclair, wrote in his autobiography in 1962. My chastity was preserved at the cost of much emotional effort. What did I get in return for this? I got intensity and power of concentration. These elements in my makeup were the product of my effort to resist the tempter. I learned to work 14 hours a day at study and creative effort, because it was only by being thus occupied that the craving for woman could be kept out of my soul. I recited the wisdom of Solomon. He that ruleth his spirit is greater than he that taketh his city. According to Sinclair, and many religions, the energy goes right to the spiritual bottom line. Imagine anyone wanting a lot of money, or houses and servants, or fine raiment, if he knew how to be happy as I did. Imagine anyone becoming drunk on whiskey, if he might become drunk on poetry and music, sunsets and valleys full of clover. The masculine sex drive is a powerful creative force, but it needs to be controlled and steered. We can do this by applying the break, sublimation, and then releasing it, masturbation. Every man is different and must find his own formula. The world is run by a satanic Kabbalist sex cult, based in London, which controls brainwashing by media and education. They use sex to distract, degrade and control both men and women. The New World Order plan is to restore the feudal model in which we are serfs at best. They undermine resistance to their plot by destroying our sources of cohesion and identity, nation, race, religion and family. Slavery begins with the mind. We can resist by not being controlled by sex. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.